life's greatest moments. We are here to give recognition to the worth, to the beauty of love, to publicly witness the creation of an outward marriage bond that Mona and David have already been creating inwardly. Their love and intention has created this marriage and we are gathered today to join in celebration and in acknowledgement of that bonding flesh. And whoever finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. And David, I think you found a pretty good thing here in Mona. <laughs> Mona and David are taking their first step of their new beginning of their life together. The ability and desire for one human being to love another is probably one of the most precious, fulfilling gifts that has been entrusted to us. It is an all-consuming task. It is a lifelong endeavor. In order to help us to accomplish that goal, God gives us some directions in his word. In Ephesians chapter 4, there's a couple of scriptures that Mona and David have asked for us to include today. In Ephesians 4, 2, and 3, be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. In Ephesians 4.32 we find, And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ has forgiven you. David and Mona, as the two of you have come into this marriage, it is uniting you as husband and wife in one new person. And this day, you affirm your faith and your love for one another. And so I would ask that you always remember to cherish each other as very special, as unique individuals, that you respect the thoughts, the ideas, and suggestions of one another, be able to forgive, 